Welcome to A Great Cooker. I'm Sophronia. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is leftover ham from Thanksgiving. That part right there is actually pineapples. And right now, this is frozen solid. But I'm going to thaw this because we're going to be making some pork fried rice in the rice cooker. I defrosted this ham for about four minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and separate out the pineapples and the fat from it. This pineapple will not taste good because of how long it cooked in the roaster. This won't taste good, but if I had fresh pineapple, that would be interesting to add. And I'm just pulling out any obvious fat because that's not gonna really taste good. You can either chop that off or cut that off. I didn't get all the fat, but I took off a good majority of it, and now I'm going to give this a rough chop. Some of this is still slightly frozen, but it's close enough. I'm just trying to get pieces about like that size is okay. Those who get bigger pieces won't mind, I'm sure. I'm gonna put that off to the side because I don't want that in the pork fried rice. You want approximately a cup of ham, and I think this might be a bit more than that, but I'm, not, I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of what I have. To the rice cooker pot, add one cup of long grain rice, one and three quarters cups of water, one tablespoon of butter, and then spices are always to taste, but I'm going to put in one teaspoon of garlic, about half a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of minced onion. I don't really have that much left, so let's see. Eh, well, I would use a quarter, I mean a quarter of a cup. I would use a quarter of a cup if I have it, had it, but it's what's more like an eighth of a cup. And salt to taste. I usually add a good amount of salt to the rice. And then give this a stir. Now, once we stir this rice, stir in the water, the water, rice, and seasonings together, I'm not gonna stir the rice again. And uh, that's, and there's an important reason for that. I'll show you in a moment why. This is a cup of frozen peas and carrots. Here's the delicious ham. And if I didn't have, if there wasn't a food allergy uh, in the house, I would add some, this is coconut aminos. I would add either coconut aminos or soy sauce to give this a more authentic taste. But I would add two tablespoons of either soy sauce or coconut aminos if there wasn't a food allergy in the house. And I'm just now realizing that if I, I had sesame oil, which I just now realized I ran out of, also, I would put about a teaspoon or so of sesame oil in here as well. Turn on your rice cooker and pick the white rice setting. On my cooker, this full cycle will take approximately 30 to 35 minutes. But the prep time was only five minutes. This went, just went off and I wanted to see if it cooked through all the way. Ooh. Let's get in closer so we can look at this. The reason why earlier I stirred the rice and that one time I didn't stir it again is because you can wind up with crunchy rice if you stir it after you've added all these other ingredients. And if some of the rice winds up not being in the water, then you will, um, it might be crunchy. Well, this looks great. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna stir this really well. And then, wow, that looks delicious. I'm gonna stir this really well and then we'll see what it looks like in the bowl. Now this isn't gonna have that stirred fried taste because it was done in the rice cooker, but this is extremely convenient and it still tastes delicious. This is optional, but I'm just gonna add some chopped chives. Thank you for watching A Great Cooker. See you in the next video.